Today we'll be discussing the key facts and findings of the case Reckitt and Coleman Products Limited and Borden Incorporated, otherwise known as the Jif Lemon case. Reckitt and Coleman Products had been selling lemon juice in the Jif Lemon containers since 1956. Borden Incorporated introduced their product to the UK market in 1985. Their product was also lemon juice, sold in a lemon-shaped container. Borden Incorporated made three different versions of the lemon-shaped container, all slightly different to the original Jif Lemon. This appeal by Borden Incorporated sought to overturn the original trial judge's ruling of passing off in favour of Reckitt and Coleman products. The law of passing off exists to protect unique products that cannot be trademarked and means that no man may pass his goods off as those of another. This case decided that in order to rule in favour for a claim of passing off, Reckitt and Coleman would need to establish three elements. Firstly, that the goods or services have acquired goodwill or reputation in the marketplace that differentiates their product from competitors. Secondly, that the defendant misrepresents his goods or services, either intentionally or unintentionally, so that the public may believe the product is the plaintiff's. And thirdly, that the plaintiff may suffer damages because of this misrepresentation. With regards to the first element, the court held that Reckitt and Coleman were unable to register a trademark on their packaging, as it was shaped like a lemon and the law seeks to avoid giving one company a commercial monopoly over a natural item. However, due to the UK market, Reckitt and Coleman had a de facto monopoly but not a legal monopoly over the sale of lemon juice in lemon-shaped containers. This monopoly and the wide brand recognition of the Jif lemon packaging was enough to convince the court of the strong reputation of the Jif brand in the marketplace. For the second element, as observed in Peyton and Company and Snelling, Lampard and Company, when a product uses distinctive features, even if they are common to the trade, if another person seeks to put goods on the market using the same distinctive features, he should take care that those goods can be really distinguished from the original. Lord Oliver held that as the labels on the bottles served no functional purpose and were generally thrown away, they were not sufficient to distinguish the real lemon bottles from the Jif bottles. Furthermore, as a side-by-side -side comparison was not usually possible for shoppers, it was held that shoppers were likely to purchase real lemon juice, thinking it was Jif. Finally, it was held that the confusion amongst shoppers between the two products was likely to result in a loss of sales for Reckitt and Coleman products. In conclusion, the court ruled that the common law wouldn't legalize a monopoly in an article itself. However, Reckitt and Coleman were still successful in their claim for passing off. Borden Incorporated were not restricted from selling juice in lemon-shaped containers. The containers just had to be made sufficiently distinguishable from the original GIF containers. Reckitt and Coleman products was an essential case to the law of passing off because Lord Oliver's obiter was the first to discuss in detail the three elements required to satisfy a passing off claim. These judgments from the House of Lords are still used today to decide cases for passing off claims.